Excel is full of useful features. One thing that can actually be really useful is to highlight things based on what sort of values they have. So I'm going to take this column of figures just here and basically anything that is over 100 I want it to be in bold and I'm actually going to also put a red background which may not really be that appropriate for this. However, it will show how this feature actually works. It's called conditional formatting and I can basically say anything over or under or between a particular value I want it to be displayed in a particular way. So I'm just going to go to format. I'm going to choose conditional formatting and you get this little dialog box appear. It's the cell value is, that's the value that we've actually got, whether it's actually typed in or from a formula, it doesn't matter. I'm going to choose my condition here. If I click here and I said that if I wanted anything to be greater than or equal to 100, if I click here, so it's greater than or equal to, and you'll see you've got various options between, not between, equal to, not equal to, you can explore all of these, less than and less than or equal to. So I chose greater than or equal to and I type in the value 100. If I now click on format, I get my format cells dialog box. And you can see here, I can't change the fonts. I can choose things like the strike through, I can choose the color, I can choose the style. And I said I wanted it to be bold. So I'm going to click on that and it's showing me a little sample of what it looks like here. I was going to put a background color of red. So I go to patterns and I choose red here. And you'll just see the OK button is just on the edge of the screen here. If I now click on OK and OK again, you'll see that it's automatically showing me. So it can make things stand out. So that is conditionally formatted. Let's see what happens if I reduce that to, say, 1. That takes it below 100. Again, if I add another one in here, it increases. And so on, the same for this one here, if I make that 100 you'll see it automatically shows up. I could set this, I'm just going to highlight these again, to format so that it has other conditions on there as well. I set it for anything greater than or equal to 100. But I could also tell it by clicking on Add, what about something less than 100? So I'm now going to choose that, it's the cell value is less than 100. I can't make it less than or equal to 100 because then you'd get that clash because it could be greater than or equal to 100 or less than or equal to 100. So I'm going to put in 100 there. I'm going to make this one. Let's just choose this. I'm going to make that italic and I'm going to change the, let's go a little bit overboard here. I'm going to make it white. That's white text on a blue background. So I'm just going to choose that. I didn't say this would look good, but it will demonstrate what it can do. I'm going to click on OK. Click on OK again. And you'll see there, if I change any of these, so if I was to change that there to 50, it changes. So a really useful way of actually being able to apply conditional formatting easily. So that is conditional formatting.